let's take a look at Space Offender, the newest game I've created for the LED Arcade. This was inspired by Defender. You see here we're connecting to the Deep Space Array. This is using a terminal emulator that I wrote. Terminal screen emulator. Fire at will. And there's a... I have a lot of different fade effects. Wave 1. And it shows the alien that the offender will be fighting. So he has multiple weapons. He shoots his laser forwards at the wave of enemies that are coming. Once he shoots an enemy, you can see a little jelly bean thing falling to the ground. That's the pilot. So now there's pilots on the ground, just like in the original game Defender. Except there's a twist on this one. It's Offender. His job is to destroy the aliens and then kill their pilots on the ground. Breaking all the laws of the uh, conventions that don't exist yet because it's space. He has bombs that'll take out the ground. You see I in... There we go. Boom. I created some particle effects there. Pieces of the ground go flying when the bomb explodes. The further the bomb flies, like this, the larger the explosion. It kills the... I call them humans. It kills the humans on the ground. Little jelly bean people. They run away from the defender. Ooh. Look at that. Wave 2. Oh, I see the, uh, the ship there is buried behind the mountains. We couldn't see it. At the top, you see the number of enemy ships as 31. The number of pilots on the ground is 24, not 25. Every time he shoots an enemy ship, the pilot ejects to the ground right there. They will run back and forth on the bottom until they hit uh, like a hole, and then they'll just back up or switch directions. This is a clock, so it wouldn't be the same without the time. Right now, I have it in the upper right-hand corner at uh, regular size. I used to have it zoomed in double or triple, but I found it was just taking up too much real estate. So the bombs put some pretty nasty holes in the mountains here. These are all randomly generated. The map is about 2048 pixels wide. You will see parallax scrolling in the stars. The very distant stars are purplish, maybe a bit of red. Then there's a closer layer that are darker blue. And then the closest layer of the stars or lighter blue. Then of course the ground. So there's four layers of scrolling going on. Once the count gets under 10, the offender decides to use his strafing ground laser to zap apart all the little, little jelly bean men that he could find. He should start going pretty soon. So you can't see it, but there's radar. So there's zones on the screen that it's constantly scanning. And if it finds a target, it will either launch a bomb or start with the downward strafing lasers. So, maybe we didn't get to see them. The game is pausing. What's going on? Not sure what happened there, but I kind of lost my way. I'm just trying to narrate a rather long video all in one clip. Or one take, I guess. So he's dropping bombs, taking sides out of the mountains, flinging debris everywhere. There we go, there's the ground laser. He sees the jelly bean men, and he's just, he's there to wipe them all out. Remember, this game is offensive. It's time the humans did some alien ass kicking, don't you think? Okay, wave three. There's a red alien gonna come. So there's a wave, I think it adds 20. When they blow up, they just turn into little pieces. So that's the particles of the ship flying the red dots. So I think there's 27 different types of UFOs. This game will run a long time. Oh, look at that. It's over. What do we got now? Dot invaders. So this is a take on space invaders. Defend your planet. I love this part. Oh. Yeah, I restarted the uh, I, I initialized the file, so it lost its high scores. 903. That was a couple hours ago. So it's Space Invaders. The time is the Armada. We have his points that he's getting at the top. 12, 14. The high score is in the orange on the bottom right-hand corner, so they're the same right now. It's on level 1. So the time is the Armada, and it blasts the crap out of it. There goes a UFO at the top. It's worth, I think, 
random number of points. In this version, every time a missile hits the ground, it loses a point. This was fun to make. I try to make my games to have a life of their own, so I can't tell what's going to happen. I programmed each side to try to win. guy's very good at avoiding those white missiles. I mean, really good. He hardly ever gets hit. And it just gets faster and faster, just like the real game. Then fireworks go off, and he takes off, and that was the end of that game. Arcade Retro Clock is a script that, I, that will play different animations to, sh to show off what the library is capable of, but it makes a pretty darn Pretty darn interesting clock to watch. Entry 1984. Dialing the Flynn's Arcade. That's a Tron reference. I'm sure you guys knew that. Connecting to Space Paranoids. Do you fight for MCP? Those are random uh, phrases that pop up out of the file that I have saved. Your jet bike has a flat tire. Okay, so the computer's trying to insult us now. So this is the this is just basically worms, but it's Tron Light Cycle. Right? There's four guys trying to destroy each other, cut each other off. This one has a bit of a twist because they can reverse. If they get stuck in a <laughs> if they get stuck in a uh, position where they can't go forward, they can try to back up. So this map again is inspired by Tron. Actually, this one's from Tron. Well, it's in the movie too, I suppose. So Green's doing pretty good. Oh, he's a loser too. So this screen has the time, the date. Three is the level, that's the red number, and the other one is the score, so it's the length of the, of the longest tail in pixels. 